Hey, what's going on lovely people? My name is Millennium and welcome to my first ever tutorial. Um, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a foghorn bass with serum, uh, especially for the drum and bass genre. This is a patch I've made uh, which is also part of my sample pack which I'm working on. So you have something to look forward to. Uh, first I'm gonna have you listen through this very simple, uh, still pretty empty sample track I made. And then I'm gonna break down the bass for you guys. Uh, so yeah, let's get straight into that. Alright guys, so you get the idea. Um, if I solo the bass, this is what it sounds like on its own. So that is the sound we're going to be recreating today guys. Uh, as you can see, it's a serum preset, which is not that hard to make. I'm going to be taking you guys through it. And yeah, let's do that now. Alright everyone, so here we are with a new instance of Serum, as you can see it just sounds plain old as it always does. Now the first thing we're going to need for this is a PMW wavetable. Uh, these are found under the analog tab and all the way at the bottom you have a lot of different ones you can try. Um, for this preset I used PMW DS which sounds like this. So it already has a bit of a screechy wave-ish sound to it. Now the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add some unison to this. So we're gonna bounce this up to about seven voices of unison the detune and the blend can just stay the way it is right now to make this a very wide sound right here. Okay, now we don't want this very, very wide sound we got here. Because this is going to cause a lot of phasing issues. So the second thing we're going to do is we're going to come down to the global tab right here. We're going to turn down the width of oscillator 1 and 2 all the way down to 0. and as I play this note and switch this value, you're going to hear everything being summed to mono. So now we end up with this pretty sad sounding uh, mono signal, but that's okay for now. Now next up we're going to drop this down an octave. You know, get that gritty bass sound in there. And then we're going to take the second oscillator and put on a sine wave. Now this is the most important part of this bass because it's obviously an FM bass. So we're going to take the level of the sine wave down. And the sine wave itself is going to be up two octaves. And then we're going to come over here to this knob and select FM from B. All right, so now if I play the note again with this FM from B knob changing, You can hear that the FM synthesis with this sine wave turns this oscillator A in a very, very screechy high-end sound, which is exactly what we're looking for for this bass. Now we're also going to add a sub bass to this, just to thicken it up a bit, drop it down an octave as well, and make sure it goes directly out. Alright, so this is the basic setup we've got going for now. Uh, next up we're going to go to our effects tab, where we're going to start by adding some hyper to this, because we summed it all the way to mono in the beginning right here in the global tab under width. So now we need to make it a little bit more stereo, so we're just going to add some hyper dimension to this, take the rate and the detune down a little bit, not too much. 
that already makes it sound fatter again. Next up, we're going to add a load of distortion to this. We're just going to push this drive knob way up. That makes it sound very harsh already. Now, something else you can do to make it even brighter is you can add some white noise to this. So if you come over here and we turn on our noise oscillator, we can put it to something like bright white. Push that level up a bit, adjust the pitch. That already sounds really nasty. Now the next part uh, we're gonna do is add some reverb. Once again, to thicken up uh, the sound which is really important for this. So we're gonna take up the low cut because otherwise it gets a lot of rumble. Take the high cut down a bit and the spin down as well, and there we go. And then we get this very nice sounding bass already. Now next up we're gonna be adding a compressor to this. Uh, we're going to compress this with the normal mode, not multiband compression, because otherwise we're going to lose a lot of the low end grit to this bass. We're going to just overload it with high, basically. So we're going to take the attack down pretty much all the way, get the release up a tiny bit, and then push the gain to about well, 7 dB. <laughs> which is just a very steady amount of compression. And then last but not least for the effects, we're gonna add an EQ to just subtly boost the highest frequencies a little bit, not too much, just like that. Just a tiny little bit. Push the Q down a little bit as well, just like that. Now it sounds really gritty already. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a filter to this. So this is also a very important part of the actual baseline. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to take a filter, a low pass filter. I'm going to take low 24 because it has a nice cut. We're going to activate it for oscillator A or noise oscillator and the sub. So we don't have spare noises coming through. We're going to adjust the drive and the fatness a little bit, push it up, give it some more resonance. All right, now that we've added this very crucial filter, we're gonna need to use envelope two right here to move it. So we're gonna start off by giving it a bit of attack somewhere about a little more than 100 milliseconds and drag this little dot right here down a bit. Next up, we're gonna take the sustain all the way down. Release can just stay like that and then we're gonna drag the decay to as long as you like. So I'm gonna take somewhere right here, just eyeballing it a bit, right? It really depends on how long you want the foghorn to be coming down, right? So then you can adjust this curve right here, how you like it. And we're gonna start by putting this on the cutoff of the oscillator. Now, what I see here is that it's unidirectional and we want it only one way. It's bidirectional and we only want it unidirectional. So we're gonna come over here to the matrix and press this little arrow right here to change it from two sides to one. Then we're gonna drag it down in the filter cutoff to somewhere about 30 hertz and move it up till about with 26 on there. So now if we play the note, we can already hear it starting to move, which is exactly what we're going for. Now we can push it up a little higher to get more of the high notes out there. So that already sounds really good. Now something else you can do, right, is to automate the levels of all of your things according to how you like them. Just like that. Now, one thing we still need to do is push up the FM button right here. There we go, and it's just a matter of finding the sweet spot 
within the wavetable position you use and how much FM synthesis you're going for. So I think the sound right here I've got right now sounds pretty good already. Now, I sent it to my track right here to add some more post-processing to this. I've shut those off, um, as you can see right here, for the making of the, the preset. But now I'm going to turn those on again and listen to the preset, what changes a bit. So I've added some more Wave Shaper, which is um, a native FL Studio saturator. So as you can see, just a tiny little bit, the dot comes from the middle, so just a little bit saturation. Next up, I took out basically a lot of the lows, right? Cutting at about uh, 84 hertz right here with a gentle low cut curve, boosting some of the mids and highs right here to make it even more grittier. And then I just added a delay to it as well, as you can see right here. And that gives us this beautiful, hard hitting foghorn sound. Now, I'll be sure to give you guys this free preset uh, with the link in the description. We're also gonna look uh, at a very nice use of this sound I made in a track, which I'm dropping this Friday, which is, uh, I believe, the 1st of May. It's a flip of Hive Bounce by Leotrix, uh, a collaboration of me and a fellow producer friend. So now we're gonna quickly look at the way it's integrated in that track, and I'll see you guys on the other side. All right, everyone, welcome back. Uh, this is the preview of the drum and bass flip me and a fellow producer friend of mine made for Leotrix Hive Bounce. I'm just going to show you a little part, something up until here maybe. This flip is coming available on SoundCloud for free with a free download as well. I'm gonna put a link to that in the description. It launches May 1st on my friend's SoundCloud account. Uh, we've got a free download gate on there. So y'all can use these in your sets. Uh, we're gonna listen to it. I've integrated the Foghorn right here as well. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this, and let's have a listen. All right, guys, so right here you can hear how easy it is to incorporate the sound to make a very dark roller track. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. This sound, together with this full song, are going to be available for free download. Links in the description. Be sure to check that out, guys. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to drop a like, subscribe, because there's a lot more content like this coming soon. I'm going to give you guys insight into all my production tips I know. Uh, also, be sure to check out my streams live on Twitch. I stream as often as I can. I do some live producing, which is always very nice to look at. I also do feedback sessions where I look at all types of different tracks, not only drum and bass, uh, anything track related who wants feedback. Uh, I give my honest producer opinion on this. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, check out the description. Also, feel free to drop some suggestions for tutorials in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Millennium out. I want that more than anything in this world. I want you to fight like hell to stay with us. But with everybody else gone, I know it, it might not be what you want. It might be too hard for you to keep fighting. So if you want to go, 
I want you to know it's okay.